All right. Hi guys. And welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been um pretty long <laughs> since my last video. I don't know. I've just kind of been dealing with some health issues. But I'm back. I've definitely still been getting a little bit of Simply Gilded here and there. And I figured that now that I'm feeling a lot better, um, I'll actually do a haul with you guys. <laughs> so this is from like the recent release. Um, what was it? April 30th? Sometime at in late April, whenever this <coughs> uh, release came out. I got some items from there. I also got, um, I also received the May sub box. And I also got um, some Coco Daisy here. <laughs> so we'll get into that a little bit later. We'll just, you know, do our usual and go ahead and start unraveling everything. So let me go ahead and get this open. Oh, what's all this? Oh, y'all, I've been holding on to these packages. I don't even know what I got and what's free. So, oh, this is the thing. Oh, that's cute, cute, cute. It's still cute. Everything is still cute the way I like it. So, um, here are the freebies. Ooh. Yeah, we're back to our regular schmegler. <laughs> we're back to our regular oohing and on over everything. So here is, um, oh, that's really, really cute. Is that a new kind of foil? Y'all fill me in because I haven't been keeping up. Is this a new kind of foil? I like that bow. Um, and then you have this uh, freebie um, little card. Please forgive me, like, if I start breathing heavy or weird. I've been, like... I think I've been having like an anxiety attack, <laughs> so sometimes it flares up. But um, here is the freebie for that, and it's just like this really pretty like sunset rainbowish ombre in the background. And you've got your regular Schmegler like functional stickers there. You've got I assume these are freebies because I don't remember buying these. Um, and it's got like that pretty, oh she's doing some stuff. <laughs> Y'all see her doing some stuff? Y'all see the twinkle? The twinkle in your eye in red. It looks like, um, what does it look like? She had recently came out with like some half boxes or like overlays. That's what they were that had that same kind of like shimmer in it. But this one is red foiled. And like the bows are different colors. So that's definitely a freebie. Uh, freebie. That's a cute freebie. Ah, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and um, here we have like this cute little printed... Um, journaling card that came with it and this is actually something that came with the roll of washi that I got look how cool that is like all the buildings and the structures and Mount Fuji is that what it is <laughs> Mount Fuji in the background um, Japan oh this is just so nice I do remember watching one of her lives um, where she was talking about um, trying to do like a different landscape washi every month which I'm down for you know I'm down I'm here for that I'm already um collecting the the gem of the month so I can do I can do the um the countries too but let's get down to what I purchased so first thing I will show you uh remember we gotta focus our cameras <laughs> can we is the Japanese washi, the Japanese landscape. So, of course, you know, we'll roll all this stuff out at the end. But look at how gorgeous that is with, like, all the cherry blossoms, with sakura blossoms. <laughs> and it's got, like, silver foiling in it. Ooh, this is so cute. This would have really went nice with, like, the spreads I was doing in my February, <laughs> my February um set up in my catch-all planner because it was all japan themed <laughs> well, whatever and then i got this um carousel washing in the purple and gold um it's a 20 millimeter size so this isn't like one of her usual whiffs so i decided to go ahead and get it to see if i like it because i know i'm one of the people that's always asking for taller washies <laughs> so i decided to just go ahead and get that one and then 
oh, I love this one. This strawberry design is so cute. She's coming out with a lot of cute designs lately. I, I feel like I've kind of been like, um, <laughs> like slowing down my my dive into the rabbit hole of Simply Gilded, but like I keep. <laughs> I keep hanging on by a little bit because some of the stuff that comes out is just really, really cute. Y'all, did y'all get the email that recently came out that gave a sneak peek of like those neon metallics that's to come? Bruh, I, mm, I'm here for that. But anyway, <laughs> back to what we currently have in hand is the strawberry. Um, This one I got with the, I got the pink one, the one on the pink background, and it has the light gold in it. And then I went ahead and went back and got this watercolor. I don't know which one this is. The watercolor. Oh, it actually is foiled. It has like little specks of, I don't, I don't even know if you can see that. It's hard to tell, but it has like little specks of silver and stuff in it. That's actually, yeah, there you go. That's actually really cute. I didn't know it was foiled. I thought it was just like a plain print. But the print is still gorgeous, like, by itself, you know, you know. And then I got Jasper. What it do, y'all? <laughs> I had to go ahead and get Jasper. This design was just so cute. It's like, um, it's like, it, it kind of, you know, reminds me of Winnie the Pooh. But it's just like Jasper with honey and bees and it's yellow. Oh, this was so cute. I had to have this one. Look at that. Happy Jasper. Hungry Jasper. <laughs> All of that. And then lastly, I snagged this freaking stardust. Y'all know how I feel about green. I, and you know what? I know she did the July pre-sale. Oh, wait, is July pre-sale? Yeah, that's the one that's coming out, right? I don't know. I don't know if I updated you. And Kong Cove, I think, won. And even though it is greens, it's not the green that I want. <laughs> It's not the green I was looking for. It's it's like the greens in that one are very much leaning towards the, the bluer, like the cooler side. And I wanted like hot, warm greens. And this is kind of what I'm going for, like the forest greens, you know, just rich greens. And here is this one. I know she had, I, I saw that she had came out with a different Stardust, I think around St. Patrick's Day, but I just... <clears throat> I wasn't really following that closely, so I missed out on it. So I made sure to go ahead and get this one. It's my first green stardust. This one has like specks of gold and what looks like silver. So it's really nice. I do like that. We finally have some greens. <laughs> some greens in our collection. So yeah, <clears throat> that is the first, the first bundle of what we got going here. And I will set that aside <clears throat> because the next thing we're going to go through is the sub box. Okay, so the sub box for the month of May is natural beauty. <clears throat> You've got the silver foiling going on here, you know. Let's take a moment to appreciate the box. All the watercolor art here, the silver foiling, the natural beauty on the side. This is volume number 42. That's something you care about. <laughs> and then on the back, you have like all of these birds, juniper, of course. You have lots of florals and foliage and even a little like leopard design going on back here. And here it says, what does that say? Oh, <laughs> it says embrace your wild. That's what it says right there. So we can go ahead and dive into this we can go ahead and get excited about some simply gildedness oh wait <laughs> i forgot what this is I, I gotta take the mystery item out first you sneaky sneaky <laughs> let me see let me see if i can find it i'll go ahead and set that right there and um yeah that Ooh, this stuff is cute oh that's cute Oh, wait, is this? Um, oh, this is the mystery item? <clears throat> no, these are pretty cute. I, I, yeah, I think this is the mystery item. So, let's go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> so, to start off with, I'll go ahead and show you these. But, um... Oh, 
oh it's stuff i knew i knew it felt like light but let me see <clears throat> oh, these are cute oh those are cute i almost never used a valum but i'm trying to figure out ways to use valum we'll see oh I think I already know exactly how I can use them, <laughs> but we'll get into that later on. <laughs> um, these are the acetates and the vellum and the B6 stitched notebooks. So this first one up, we've got this really nice floral print. Um, it's got like the silver foiling on it. And it's just like a really, really cute design. Foil is only on the front with this one. Next you have like this leopard print. No foiling on this one, but it is equally beautiful. And there you go. And then you have this clear acetate here that's got like the birds and the flowers on it. That really nice design. It looks like it's foiled inside and out, so you can use it like either way. And then, of course, you get your B6 stitch notebook that has like a little foiled... Um, yeah a little foiled um bird on it and then on the back you just only have like your simply gilded but yeah there you go that's your collection of vellums and acetates here and i i'm actually excited about having these vellums now i think i finally have a use for them but we'll see next up is should i do the stickers let's do the stickers oh because there's stuff in there but there's always stuff in everything. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, don't y'all just love these color schemes? Like, I, I, I do love, like, the color schemes of all these sticker kits like it's hard for me to use them especially like with all the full boxes because i don't really use like a vertical planner i don't use i don't really use aaron condren like the vertical layouts or the happy planner vertical layouts i just don't have a use for them so it is kind of hard to use these stickers but I love to get them. I just love like the color schemes, the deco. I make, you know, I find a way to use them and like incorporate them with my planner spreads and everything. I, they're just so nice to have, especially like the date covers. But anyways, um, let's jump into what you get. <clears throat> so you get this leopard printed functional sheet here with all this silver foiling, like just... I know y'all know that's cute. I, I know I know you know that's cute. And then you got like this really nice mint, mint green for spring. And these are all your date dots plus some additional um, functional at the end of it. You have your extra sheet, which includes some more. Can I like focus this a little bit more? Maybe you can see better. Yeah, yeah. Because I know you want to see that. I know you want to see that cat with the bow on his back. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then you got like some half boxes here with all your silver foiling. You've got another full box with some silver embellishments, your gratitude box, your checklist. Mm -hmm. You get, boom, bam, <laughs> you get some bow seals, um, different colors, different prints. So you have like the floral print right here a nice tan brown one you got your leopard print and then you have like that mint green and then you get like the full size sheets so of course you get like two you all of these all of these are um date headers so this is just the ones that come on this sheet uh yeah so you got the leopard over here and the tan brown over here both of them have silver and they're just like a standard type face and then you've got all these beautiful <laughs> April, I mean, these beautiful, like, foil designs, wild and free on this floral one. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's really nice. I like that. I'm going to have to use that. <laughs> and um, some more checklists, your little bow um, icons, and then some headers. <clears throat> 
And then lastly, you get another column, like another color choice of date headers. And then you have your little uh, leopard kitty with the bow. You have some more florals and oh, the foiling on it. You have some horizontal bow strips, some more additional deco. Um, some functional flags here for all of you who find that helpful and some more full boxes some more full boxes with some more foil yeah there you go so there's that that's in that sticker kit then you get then you get these really really pretty um vellum she's really been getting into these vellum sticky notes and i am not mad i'm here for it i love them and it's so easy to write on them with like the i think it's a sakura pen you know you just let it dry and it really really works and these are also cool for like backgrounds like if you want to like glue them down into your planner spread or like flip them out or something these are really really cool and I, I also like the size of these. I feel like you can do a lot with this. Maybe even get like a cool, like a cute um, hole puncher, like a heart or a star or a butterfly. And just like, and just like cut them out and glue them. I don't know. I don't know. Get creative, y'all. But um, yeah, these are all the vellum sticky notes. Vellum meaning that it's transparent so you can see through it. Like if you put it in your planner, you can still see what's underneath it. So there's the sticky notes with that. And then I'll go ahead and get into this first because this is actually not a sticker book. <laughs> it's, um, what is this? It's a traveler's notebook, I think. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it's a traveler's notebook because it comes with like the four strings. And if you like to use inserts like little booklets and all that stuff, you have that. It's made up, I think it's made up pretty much the same way as the one that she launched in September sub box, I believe. And you also have your little pin loop there. The inside is a nice like soft blue. And you have a pocket down here, your little... I believe that's called a secretarial pocket, I don't know. And then you can just like fill it up with all your everything and it has like the silver hardware and the back is just that really, this is a beautiful box. <laughs> it, it really is pretty. She does pastels and florals really well. I will give her that. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and open up this packet. So this is the journaling card for the sub box. It's just this beautiful little leopard looking off into the distance and with, you know, accented with a little simply gilded bow. And that's it. It's just, it's so pretty. And I thought I'd show you this, um, this washi bag that it came in because I just, I like the design on it. So there's all of that. And now, oh, wait, no. <laughs> Before we get into the washi, check out this pen. Oh my gosh, isn't this pen gorgeous? Tell me this pen is not cute. Tell me it ain't cute, y'all. <laughs> this pen is so, so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's like, um, like that tone on tone. Y'all know how she feel about that tone on tone here lately. <laughs> so, but I actually really like it for this pen. Um, this leopard printed design with the silver hardware. Oh, this is just, this is just so pretty. I love her pens. I have them all in a little cup on my desk. And it's just so nice to like reach for them and write something. If you need to write something really down, you write it down in style. <laughs> so now, now we can get to the washi. Now we can get to the washi tapes and do our thing. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're back in business. <laughs> so here, here we go. Here we go. This is, um, of course, the additional, um, if you do the add-on this is what this is but for what comes with the box like only the box this is what you get so you get this nice really nice like tan brown design you get the 10 millimeter and the 15 meter millimeter per usual 
and um, <clears throat> this one has silver foiling on it. A nice simplistic, you know, addition to your collection. And then you get uh, these two additional ones, which is, oh, that's pretty. I don't know if you can really see that. I like that bow. I like that design. And that's just on like a pink, almost peach kind of background with silver foiling. And then you get a roll of tasks, which is like that mint green kind of look also with silver foiling you oh this is the one i really wanted <laughs> i couldn't wait to get here but this nice leopard print it has actually no foil on it it doesn't need foil in my opinion because it's really cute by itself like on its own i like that print and then also you get these birds are they like swallows or something i don't know but you get this really pretty like bird and floral design the birds are foiled in silver and then you just have like those peach orange like florals in the background that is just so cute so you know the deal we'll go ahead and um unravel them at the end and then like i said if you decided to get if you decided to purchase the five millimeter add-on um this is the set that you get so you get like the mint with silver what hearts and stars i guess um that's the first one and then the second one is this it looks it looks like it's this print like it's this print but smaller with um some bows on it so that's the print you get with that one then you get this inverted foiled inverted um inverse silver foil i think is what it's called and it's just a star celestial background and then this last one is just like the heart and vines with silver foiling on a with like tan almost nude peach kind of background and um that's the collection that's the set you get okay can we do a last little look so yeah that's all the washi tape that you get in in the um in the box <laughs> So what I'm going to do is go ahead and unravel all the washing and swatch them now. And then we'll get into our Coco Daisy stuff, okay?
Okay, really quickly, and let's go ahead and reveal the mystery item for April. So, we'll just go ahead and give you some time. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> and this is the mystery item for the May sub box. So you get some more of the little page flag sticky notes. And these are vellum. I, I believe the last ones she sent were also vellum too. So you can just like see underneath them. This one's kind of like going all over the place. But <clears throat> half of it is sticky and then the other half is like a flap. So like you can like use them for priorities. Or like if you write something down in your planner. Maybe you want to like put it over that. So like help it stand out if you don't want to use a highlighter and then you can just like rip it off or something I don't know however you want to do it but they do have names so this pink one up here is called peach sand this one is obviously called leopard um this purple one is called wild oat this floral one is called spring mix and this blue one is called sweet water so you get a total of five all together and that is it now, we can go ahead and hop into our Coco Daisy box. I'm actually so excited to get this. I've been like looking at Coco Daisy stuff for like ever now. <laughs> Maybe for like the past couple of years, I've been like off and on looking at Coco Daisy stuff. But I finally, I finally decided to go ahead and get a box because I'm kind of interested <laughs> in having a ring planner. The only reason why I got interested is because of those Notique planners. And I really, really love that blush croc. I really, really love that. And it's another one that I love. Her, oh my gosh, her agenda covers or ring binders or whatever you call them are just so cute. But I was like, am I really going to afterpay something I'm not even sure I would like? So I don't really know much about like inserts, who to buy them from, how to print, how to cut them. So I decided that this would be a great time to try out Coco Daisy. So I was like, at first I was thinking like, you know, should I go out and get like a cheapy binder? But then I remembered I actually had one. So this was a Kate Spade planner that, yeah, I took everything out. Um, at one point in time, like a couple years ago, I was using it solely for cash envelopes. Um, I never actually used it for planning. Like, I never used the inserts or anything like that. This is a personal size planner. It's the black one, and it's, you know, it's got the zipper. Still works great. You know, the rings, for my opinion, they're, the rings are really nice. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I decided to buy the May sub box kit to kind of put together in here just to see if I like ring planners like that. Who knows, I might stick with this um, ring planner for a while um, before I get a Notique. <laughs> I'm hoping that's the way that goes, but let's go ahead and dive into the Coco Daisy sub box. I believe the one for May is called... Um, tranquility <clears throat> it's a very very green heavy box oh look yeah it's called tranquility Ooh, got stuff so <clears throat> i got the ones obviously with the inserts so here you have this is the little, I guess this is a journaling card. It feels really nice. Like it has like a really nice kind of texture to it. And the art on here is just, oh my gosh. Don't you just love all these greens and all these, all this foliage. Foliage? Florals? Whatever you want to call them. Oh, it got something on the back. I'm not reading all that. I don't have the breath to read all that. But I, you know, I'll hold it still in case you want to try to pause it and read it. So, um, oh, they come in this little, like, clear Ziploc bag. Oh, okay, okay, Coco Daisy. <laughs> Ooh, lots and lots of goodies. I want to say, how much was this box? Like, 20-something, 20 $28, I think. Oh, what is, oh, ooh, oh, mm. Yeah, 
I'm already filling this box. Look at just how lush. Look at how lush this box is, y'all. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. So where do we even start? So I guess we can start with this and go ahead and get that out just out the way. So this is a pretty little plaid, I'm not even plaid, but <laughs> some kind of checkered pouch you have here. If at any point you want to focus, that would be great. But here you have this little pouch here with the silver hardware. I suppose you can put all your uh, Cocoa Daisy goodies in here. It's just like, you know, your little plastic pouch here. It feels really nice and feels really like soft, but it does feel, well, I don't know. It's just a really good pouch. A really nice plastic pouch. So there you go there. Oh man, what do you start with? Oh, how adorable. <laughs> Look at this little paper clip. <laughs> I, I don't know the names of the characters, but look at Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> what is that, a rabbit? And he's holding his little monster plant pot. Oh, that's so cute. It feels really nice, too. It feels like a patch. Like a patch that she added to like a paper clip. Oh, this is so cute. I love that. Oh, I'm already loving this stuff. <laughs> I just always love like her artwork and her style and the things that come in the kits, like, and all of these wonderful die cuts. Uh, Y'all know I love me a good die cut. <laughs> but here you go. Life is a balance of holding on and letting go. There's a lot of truth in that one. <laughs> so there you have that one. You have leaves. You have arrows daily monthly you have flags you have i believe these are um like uh dividers those little divider tabs i think that's what those are but you have some more die cut plants some more tabs um ooh butterflies leaves little hanging potted plants more butterflies that is really cute that is really pretty oh i love these i love these florals <laughs> some more divider tabs um what is that a moth and some more divider tabs you'll never run out of divider tabs <laughs> some more and some more potted plants this is just y'all the colors in this thing is so bright um like vibrant and bright oh my gosh love this i'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the um the package it came in because we don't want them running all over the place <laughs> so there's that oh here is some sticky notes sticky notes and um oh these are nice so they're like sticky halfway down there you go and they have like this really cute scallop side it's called field notes it's just like a little doodle some light green lines you get a nice handful of that oh these are so cute don't you think this is nice coco daisy is cute stuff you know what i'm saying oh you get it oh yeah you get a washi tape well gotta add that to the collection <laughs> so here is a, um like a nice forest like foliage plants and all that stuff it's just a lot of green it's just a green background with a lot of watercolor florals on it <laughs> and it's really cute so there's that you get this fancy schmancy pen some little thing oh my first coco daisy pen it needs its own cup <laughs> But uh, here is the pen. Y'all, isn't this cute? Is it like a twist? Do you twist it? Oh yeah, you twist it. You twist the very, very edge. Y'all, I'm about to break it and I ain't had it five minutes. <laughs> but um, it's got like the cute little florals uh, painted on it. It's got like these little tiny like clear crystals or something in there. Then it's got like the silver hardware. And I assume that's the Coco Daisy logo right there. This is cute. 
Oh, these pens are cute. I'm gonna have to test and see how they write. Are they like simply gilded good? <laughs> Anyways, let's open this. What is all this? What's all this good stuff here? Okay. Oh, this is some kind of card. This is some kind of like a washi card, I guess. So it has the word grow on here and it's just like this gridded, this gridded pattern. So I assume if you, you could probably even put it like in your Erin Condren life planners if you have like the coil clips or like if you can find any of those sticky clips that go into like different binders. I don't Maybe you can punch holes in it for a personal planner. I don't know. But otherwise, it's just a regular schmegler old washi card to me. <laughs> I don't know if you want to get creative with that. <clears throat> um, oh, these are pen refills. Okay. So, oh, that's pretty cool that it actually comes with the sub box. So not only do you get the one that comes in the pen, you also get two extras. So that's pretty, that's pretty dope. You get some more. These are, this is just like a notepad. It doesn't have any sticky to it. But I think this is like the same design as like, I'm thinking the um, actual planner insert. It has like the same style, but you get like a whole notepad of them. So I don't know what you could use them as, like meal planning or like a schedule, maybe a, oh, maybe a chore chart. Is there an update? There's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it could be a chore chart too. Something to do daily or maybe like if you have seven goals that you want to work on every day or I don't know. <laughs> there are, you know, many possibilities to that. And then you get stickers. Because what is a planner shop without stickers, y'all? <laughs> um, so you get like, oh, these are cute. So you get some more tabs. You get some more tabs here. You get a whole bunch of labels. Happy Mother's Day, May Day, May the 4th be with you. Memorial Day, Spring Loving What All the Plants. A whole bunch of extras. Some tea cups. Or coffee cups. I, I know it's coffee. <laughs> um, Chinese food, shopping, recycling, trash, laundry, sweeping. Like, it's just so much good stuff. I like this. I like that sheet. And then you get this sheet, which I assume is all like your date dots. Um, and your days. You get like some extra stars and stuff. You get your weekend stickers, some a whole bunch of arrow, a whole bunch of decorative arrows. Oh, and some extra extra stuff down here. Oh, and some extra stuff over here. <laughs> and a whole, whole lot of meal planning, cleaning, groceries. Oh, she got you covered. She got you covered in this kit. <laughs> um you get notes, spring cleaning, all your goals, trackers, to-do lists. Oh, I cannot wait to use this. Like, I'm so serious. I cannot wait to put this little thing together. The only thing I'm mad about is that the dashboard sold out. So I, I, I didn't get the dashboards. <laughs> but um, you get some cardstock paper. <laughs> if that makes you feel better, you get cardstock paper. You get a nice horizontal stripe. You know, cheer up. Cheer up, you got cardstock paper. Um, you get this nice little horizontal stripe. Um, oh, and on the inside, you get like this black and white chevron design. Does that make you dizzy? I was just looking at the... <laughs> yeah, we're gonna <laughs> move on to the next one. We have like this um, little gridded pattern on this ombre greenish blue kind of background. Oh, oh, this is, oh, I like this one. <laughs> I like the inside of this one. Check this out. It's like this really cool, like, abstract design thing, this crazy doodle thing going on here. That That's nice. I like that. And then you get this um, geometric pattern here. I know there's a name for it, but I cannot think of it. But it's, um, you know, it's got, like, the white grid in between with all the green and yellow and blue. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, you open it and it's like a ba bam <laughs> I am here. This one is pretty. This one is pretty. I like that one too. So those are your card stocks, okay? You can get in there. You can have some fun with your life. And um, to wrap this up, 
I just have the inserts. Maybe I'll zoom in. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> now we have our Coco Daisy personal size inserts. I got them with the whole punch. I just assumed that maybe it would fit into my Kate Spade planner. I'm not sure. But I don't have like a ring binder punch, so I was just like, oh, I'll take a chance. So first you have like the opening page, which is at the end of the day, we can endure much more than we think we can. <laughs> oh, that's definitely something I needed to hear. <laughs> but um, this is like the opening page for that. And then you turn that over to the side. Oh, and then you have like never be afraid to sit a while and think. And then you have like a whole calendar. So what I like about Coco Daisy is that she gives you enough for like just one month. And then you can just like change up your look every single month. I think that's pretty cool. I like that idea. And um, so this is the the thing I was talking about. You see how similar it looks? So like this is a schedule and then you could use the same thing as like an additional schedule. I assume this is like one of the weekly spreads or just like a week at a glance kind of thing. You have Monday through Sunday, all the different colors and yeah, just a horizontal spread. And then on the back of that, it's just like this gridded area here. You know, it's just like faded out. You can hardly see it. <laughs> And then up top it says, every day brings a choice to practice stress of peace. Girl, you are reading me <laughs> to filth. <laughs> but um, that's the back of that with some more beautiful watercolor foliage. Does it say the same thing? Yes. It's just to remind you every single week, girl, choose peace. <laughs> okay. I hear you, um, uh, Coco Daisy. I don't even know her name. <laughs> but, um. Then you get, what is this? Oh, so this is another weekly spread. So on the back of it, it's just like this dot gridded area and some more of her art with the quote that says, love grows here. And then you get like a week of spread. So you, of course you get Monday through Sunday, Saturday and Sunday are a shared space <laughs> as usual. And then you can just put the week that you're, you know, that you're in. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so after each week, I guess so that you can like move it around your planner if you want to. So at the end of each week, it's like another gridded area, like a blank space with some more art around the edges. And then it looks like it just repeats. Yeah, it just repeats. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it looks like you get five weeks worth five weeks worth of um you know stuff and then here is a notes page oh okay so this is the notes page this is the opening to your monthly calendar so you just get like all these check boxes you could probably use this as like a monthly master task list to be honest because it flips right into oh isn't it y'all isn't this cute let the good thoughts grow oh isn't this cute and you just have like the little leaves and all that stuff so you get you a full calendar you do have um like sliced spliced days it's a sunday through saturday layout um which is fine with me i use either or i actually like monday starts but sunday starts you know that's good and then you have a teeny tiny well this is a this is the personal size so it's teeny tiny in the personal size but you do get a little notes area here. Oh, this is, this is crazy adorable. This is crazy adorable. I love this. And then on the back of that calendar, you get like a year at a glance. So you just get G uh, January through December, which is pretty neat. And then all the art. And then you get some daily, oh, I'm pretty sure this is the rest, yeah. So you get, a whole heap a lot of I believe the site says you get 32 30 or 32 like to do pages so basically you have I guess you can write the date up here on this little faded line then you have another line under it um, and then some what five check boxes after that and then another line I guess for a different section and then like several check boxes after that 
I don't know, you can use that for anything. Maybe this section could be for your priorities and just other things you want to do. Or maybe like, you know, work, home stuff. I don't know. However you want to do it. But that is the front of it. And then the back of it is just like this gridded space for you to use it however you choose. And that is just like that's the basics of it y'all this is this coco daisy kit come through miss lady i am loving this artwork oh my gosh i think i think i'm gonna subscribe <laughs> i think i'm gonna subscribe <laughs> i'm gonna give myself a couple weeks to to really work in it and see how i like using it honestly i think i'm gonna go ahead and play in my planner right now i don't have much time left on this camera so maybe i'll just come back at the end of it and show you how i set up it's honestly not gonna be all that because <laughs> i don't have all the stuff necessary but you know that's all that's all for now oh y'all y'all this simply gilded washi let me show you this simply gilded washi right here come on camera focus this Simply Gilded Washi was made for the Tranquility Box. You see this? It was made for the Tranquility Box. She came on time. They be, they be in cahoots, y'all. But anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, like, comment, subscribe, and stick around. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Okay. So, I probably spent like an hour or two just like setting up the planner really quickly. So, I just kind of wanted to flip through it. You know, maybe it's finished, maybe it's unfinished. But I just wanted you to see my first attempt at a ring planner with the Coco Daisy stuff. Um, it's pretty much only Coco Daisy stuff with just some <laughs> additional Simply Gilded things. But, um... So here's the setup. <laughs> Here is the setup. Isn't it cute and green? Um, obviously like all the die cuts and stuff are in here. Um, I also put like the sticky notes in the pocket. The little paper clip of the little bunny rabbit. Um, and in this front pocket here I have of course some the Simply Gilded sticky notes because I just I really like them. I think they go with this thing. And I put Povey in here. Um, these are stickers available in my shop. But I felt like this theme was so, <laughs> so Povey. He's green. He embodies a plant. Like this whole, this whole theme just really, really spoke Povey to me. And then I also um, put in some of my watercolor stickers and some payday stickers to use so I can mark my paydays on the monthly calendar. So I keep those in this little front pocket right here for easy access and um so now I'll do like an actual flip through just a little quick something something so the vellum <laughs> the vellum that I actually got in the simply gilded may sub box is what I ended up cutting down I don't have like a ring planner puncher I just use like an old regular schmegler <laughs> hole puncher but I did cut them down and you know as you can see it's like the floral and the bird designs and I think that went really really well with this and so that's the is that the I mean not the villain the acetate <laughs> and then you have like the first divider that opens up into May and so I just kind of like added some die cuts this is this piece right here is actually one of the cardstock packaging I think it's the one that the die cuts came in, but I like cut that down to size and then hole punched it, added in one of the dividers and some die cuts. And this is actually what I'm going to use to write down things that, you know, I should be looking forward to for the upcoming month. So this is like my little next month section. And then this whole page will be for my task for this month, you know, whenever I get to writing it down. And then it flips open into the calendar. So I wanted to have the calendar like up front, obviously, so I can just open up right to it. You know, have a quick little overview of what the month is looking like. So there is that. And then obviously it flips into the year at a glance. 
I'm still debating on how I'm going to use this. Maybe I will use this as like a week at a glance. I was watching, I think it was like the actual Coco Daisy video. And she uses this as a week at a glance. And on the back, she uses it for meal planning. I'm contemplating if I want to do the same thing because it seems like the easiest way to do that. But we'll see. I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm still debating on how I'll use the sections. But I do know, oh yeah. And this is the divider that I created for my daily to-do section. So I just added the little journaling card there, a little die cut, the little daily task arrow, and then I put in the journaling card with some Simply Gilded Washi. It's really transparent so you can't really see it, but I used this one um, to like add that one in. And then you'll flip over into your daily to-dos. Um, yeah, and that's just all my to-do sections. And then we come to this last section where it's the weeklies. I added in like another piece of the, I don't know why I want to call it vellum, the acetate. I added in another piece for that. And then added in some more die cuts. I added the life is a balance of holding on and letting go, plus the I think those are moths. I've been calling them butterflies. <laughs> but I added those in there just to like... Oh, and this was... I should mention that these are the cardstock paper. Like the cardstock paper that came with the kit. So I just cut them down to size. I actually, since we're already a day in, I just used one of the daily one of the daily sheets and I just put some washi tape and whatever I was trying to hold punch I just like use that use that as a guide so there's that this flips over into the weeklies so I don't know how I'm gonna use this I don't know if I'm going to use it for actual weekly planning or if I want to use it for something else I also thought about using it for maybe gratitude or like just journaling each day I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Even like self-care, even fitness. Oh, I can use it for like health and fitness. I don't know. Drop me some ideas. The only thing I'm really sure I'll use is the daily to-do list and possibly these pages up here. I don't really have an idea for this one. And then we mosey on in the back. I put this little like weekly notepad back here. And then you have the little pen that is in my pen holder. So yeah, that is just a quick little setup, a quick little flip through of what my um, first Coco Daisy attempt looks like. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this haul and may you all have a wonderful day. Bye.